Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Erich Koreeman from South Korea. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Uh, before starting today's video, I'd like to tell you guys that uh, I have a cold right now, so my voice might be a little weird. I've been sick for a couple of days. Uh, I'm not 100% cured yet, but not so bad. Anyways, today's topic is going to be why South Korea is falling behind China in technological capability. So it's a serious topic today. And uh, in Korea, there is a, a TV channel called KBS. KBS. And KBS is one of the biggest uh, channels in Korea. Uh, TV channels in Korea not only they do news but they also do like entertaining programs documentaries and dramas and many other things and they also run a um, YouTube channel called KBS Takyu KBS Takyu Takyu uh, stands for documentary and a couple of days ago I watched a documentary and uh, the topic, <clears throat> the title of the documentary was um, Talent War, Talent War. And this documentary was divided into two parts and the title of the first part is called China Obsessed with Engineering Colleges. And the second part of this documentary, the title of uh, the second part of th this documentary is called Korea Obsessed with Medical Schools. So I'm going to talk about this documentary basically. If you are Korean and watching my video, or if you can understand Korean very well, and if you are interested in these uh, kind of topics, I highly recommend you to watch this documentary. This, it's really interesting. Currently, South Korea is one of the leading countries in terms of technology. We have uh, great companies like Samsung, LG, Hyundai, Kia, and so on. And if you are watching my video, I am sure that there is no one who has not heard of these companies. And probably many of you are using at least one product uh, from these companies. It might be your TV, it might be your fridge, it might be your phone. Like myself, I'm using a Samsung phone, maybe your car. So South Korea is definitely one of the leading countries in this world in terms of technology. But the next industry that will lead this world in the future is going to be AI. And South Korea is not doing so well when it comes to AI. And it looks like USA and China are going to be the two uh, leading countries when it comes to AI. So I'm going to talk about why South Korea is falling behind China when it comes to AI. In the last video, I've talked about how hard Korean students uh, study to get into universities. And these universities are not just any, any universities, but they are medical schools. So almost every single child's dream is to go to one of these great uh, medical schools in Korea. And that's why they study until midnight or 1 or 2 in the morning. The reason is to get into a good medical school. The Chinese students also study hard just like the Koreans but uh, the difference is they study to get into one of the best engineering universities in China. That is the difference. Koreans study to get into medical, medical schools. Chinese students study to get into engineering schools. And the reason is because that's where the money is. Here in Korea, if you get into, if you become a doctor, you can earn a lot of money. In China, if you become a 
engineer, you can earn a lot of money. Once again, I am not telling you about my random thoughts today, but I am literally telling you uh, about this documentary I've watched a couple days ago. Now, the thing is, in order to become one of the leading countries, a country must invest in technology. But why do Korean kids and Korean parents want their kids to go to medical schools instead of instead of engineering schools. To understand that, you need to understand a little bit of Korean history. So I'm going to teach you a little bit of Korean history. So let's go back to 1980s. There was a time when the government of South Korea placed importance on investing in technology. And that is back in 1980s and 1990s. And back then, every single student's dream was to go to uh, one of the best engineering schools in Korea. So the government uh, invested a lot of money on technology back then, and also the students wanted to go to engineering schools uh, back then. But things started to change after 1997. 1997 was uh, when South Korea faced uh, the biggest economic crisis in history. And back in 1997, I was only um, five years old, so I don't really remember what exactly happened, but I know that a lot of people uh, got fired and a lot of people just couldn't support their families. Uh, tons of people committed suicide. And, you know, it was miserable. That's what I've heard uh, from adults. And also that's what I have saw uh, through documentaries here in Korea. Even in that chaos situation, there were three groups of people who did not, who, who did not get fired. The first one is doctors. The second is lawyers. The third one is um, government employees. And that is when doctors started to get uh, really popular. And it got even more popular as time passed by. Right now, the popularity is through the roof. And uh, every, everyone, every single kid wants to go to medical schools. The government does not invest in technology like uh, it, used to, it used to do in the past. And of course, there are students who are willing to go to um, engineering, engineering uh, schools. And those who want to study engineering all go to either USA or China. Uh, the Korean students who want to study engineering go to USA or China. And Korean students who want to study, uh, wants to become doctors, stay in Korea. And that is why now South Korea is kind of falling behind um, when it comes to AI. In the documentary, the cameraman does a lot of video, uh, interviews with, with the professors uh, here in Korea. The professors who, are, who have uh, majored in engineering. And they all talk about the same thing. Uh, the government doesn't invest in technology like they used to do in the past. and. Um, also, many professors who have uh, majored in engineering uh, already work in China because they offer a lot of money. So South Korea is losing a lot of talented uh, students and professors who are able to lead this country. Whereas China is just sucking up all the great talented people from all over the world uh, with the Chinese money. And I am truly concerned about this situation because, uh, you know, I love this country. I don't want, want, I don't want my country to fall back. And that the thing is, South Korea is really difficult to survive without technology uh, because we don't have natural resources. So once again, if you are Korean or if you can understand Korean, I highly recommend you to watch this documentary. It's really interesting. 
I'm going to end the video here today, everyone. Thank you for watching my video once again. See you next time. Bye-bye.